making his way to the blue corner, making his ring walk, introducing Felipe Torres. All right, Joe, here we go. Felipe Torres, okay, he's a... Uh, Get on there. They said record is zero zero. We have one and zero, oh. um, but could be a typo. Yeah, this is our. Um, this is our first pro bout. So this could be his debut. <clears throat> Making his way to debut. the red corner, introducing Alonso Cisneros. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This is some heavyweight guys. 226. Expect to see some uh, knockout here. Yeah. This is is coming out with traditional music here. Yeah. <laughs> Usually that means it's ready to go. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> see here from P-Town Boxing. Some good boxing uh, academy there. In Paris, California. P-Town Boxing. Hmm. Give it up to Coach Ochoa right there. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for four three-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Brought to you by Red Promotions and Baby Live TV and the Fight Night Channel. Your judges Rolling for this contest three, are yeah. Rudy Barragan, Ivan Guillermo, and Carla Caiz. And the third man in the ring is referee Ray Corona. Fighting to my right out of the blue corner from Sun Valley, California. He stands at six foot one inches. He weighs in at 245 pounds. He is making his pro debut. Introducing Felipe Torres. Joe, he is a debut today. Yep, big boy. To my left, on the red corner from Paris, California. He stands at six foot three inches. He weighs in at 240 pounds. He has a record of zero victories, zero losses, and one draw. Introducing Alonzo Cisneros. Let's see who's ready to go. This is the referee, Ray Corona. All right, here we go. Yeah, Ray's been in the trade a long time. I always smile when I see Ray as a ref. I've seen him for a long time. Yeah, he's great. Boys, boy. 6'3. Oh, red, uh, red corner's tall. Yeah, even though Snedos has a fight, it's I'd say it's a fairly even match right now. You know, yep. both are new, uh, new to this in the pros. Another Southpaw here. Southpaw matchup against an Orthodox. Yeah, Torres definitely wants to stay away from his his uh, opponent's right side. He's got, he's got that left hand cocked and ready to go. Yeah. He's stalking his opponent right now. Boxing. This is Cisneros nickname's the Hulk. Body shot, put it, put back Torres. Okay, Ooh, that, him up with that. that left cross right to his forehead, <laughs> connected. So far, pretty even with the action. I just see uh, Cisneros with a little bit more technical advance here, and um, I don't like that Torres is moving towards his. Left? Yeah, his power side. <clears throat> yep. 
I don't like that either. Seems like his back foot is not going to be there for him to counter with his power punch. And it's going to make it easier for Cisneros to attack him. Yeah, his hips look like kind of tight, so it's hard for him to move that left leg. Here you go. You yeah. know? Yeah. For him to move out of the way quick enough. So let's Here see how go. it goes. Should be, he should be ready oh. for a counter here. Cisneros lets the straight left go. But he has to move towards his right mm -hmm. or stand straight, stand in, in front of him. Okay, that's why it's always good to train yes. right side and left side. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's why we're talking about he's moving to his left. It's yep. so, so much easier to, to attack an orthodox yep. versus a lefty or a southpaw. That's, I, I still don't understand why fighters have not picked up on that today. Yep. Not yet. See, it's At this level, though, I, I, I get it if they're, you know, they have the 10 fights in, you know, but, but, you know, they but viewers, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it just makes it easier when, when he does stand in front of him mm -hmm. or move towards his right. Sure. It just makes it a little easier for him because he, he's able to counter off his back foot. Yeah. He, he has no back foot when he's moving that. No, he doesn't. But Cisneros is definitely uh, using his range, sticking that jab. So yep. it's not so much one-sided or what, who's doing what. It's kind, of, it's kind of what Cisneros is putting together. It's working for him. A lot of action in the first round. I got to give that to Cisneros. <clears throat> Me too, Joe. I give him that. Because, you know, he had, he had more punches landed. <clears throat> Good work. Expects his nose to kind of double up on that jab and let a, uh, a strong straight left go. Mm -hmm. When, when uh, Torres is moving to his left. Torres, though, you know, got to hand it to him, though. The couple punches that he did land, it, it kind of set back Cisneros on his heels. Oh, yeah. You know, it put him back, so he's got the power. He's so a big boy. Yeah, he's got the power, that's for sure. Instructor is giving him an, what to do's. What to step the second round here. Here we go. Yep. Round two. Let's see if Cortez can make a little adjustment on that movement. I already see uh, Cisneros kind of forcing Torres to go to his left. He's keeping him away with that jab. <laughs> He's doing good right now. Oh, big left. Big left by Cisneros. He needs, he needs to uh, throw multiple jabs, like I said, on the combos. You know, Double up on that jab. Four or five punch combo. Yeah. It's early on the second round right now, Cisneros is putting it in, putting it on uh, Torres. But Torres is game. He's right there, right in front of Cisneros. like to see some bot some more body shots all oh, these big boys all it takes is one punch Joe. So <laughs> that's all it takes yeah. like that one <laughs> set him back on his heels he's a little wobbly now uh, Torres uh, he needs to tighten his uh, hands up just a little bit. Keeping them kind of low. He's got a habit of uh, dropping one hand as the other one's going out for a punch. So it leaves him wide open. See like that. All those. Good but effort there by Torres, but Oh, him. nice. Nice little flurry by, by Cisneros. Yeah. I thought Torres was going to do a takedown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do a double, double leg, single leg takedown. Exactly. There's that body shot you're talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> Give 
it up to to uh, the Torres. He's, he's staying in there. He's, he's a live dog. Both these guys are showing pretty good cardio for a big man, you know? Oh, yeah. At this, uh, at this stage in their boxing career, you know? They're both debuters. Pretty good, you good go. cardio. You got to hand it to both of them. It's a nice little count over there. Here we go, 10 seconds. Give it up to uh, Ray Corona. <laughs> Ring girls. <laughs> All right, we're uh, out. I think this is a three round. Three rounder, maybe, yeah. Oh, four round. Four, four rounds, so, oh, okay. Third round here. I have to snow this up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure the aisles, the aisles are clear throughout the fighting. Thank you very much. The aisles are clear for us. Thank you. I think what Coach Ochoa is probably telling his nails right now if he picks it up. And a friendly reminder there's no more flash photography right. throughout he the duration of this pull contest. Off a, Thank a you. Down at the very least. Yeah. So I know uh, we got Torres on the back foot right now. Yeah. But his movement is allowing his nails to kind of tee off on him with the, the jab and the straight left. Round three! Right, Warriors. Round three. I like what Torres is doing. He's, he's picking up the pace. Yeah. Throwing that jab from an angle. Torres is uh, baiting him also by keeping that left hand down. Yes, he might. He might. Might kind of feint that and throw a hook. Yep. But it goes the same for him as well, since he's leaving it down like that. You see that? That's a hook you're talking about. Good call there, Ron. It, it's it's best for him to move towards his right. Sure. Absolutely. Kind of throw those um, outside right. He's, <clears throat> he's kind of applying that right now. Yeah. Staying standing in front, fighting in front of him. Move towards the right. Yeah. Low, low headbutt there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good sportsmanship between the two. Yeah. Like you said, uh, Cisneros' nickname is the Hulk. So <laughs> maybe it's going to take for him to get mad Ooh. a little bit. Oh. Oh, nice right by uh, Torres. He got scraped there a little bit. Yeah. Maybe he'll get mad now. Let's go. Wake him up a little bit. <laughs> There's that straight jab to the gut. Or a left, left jab to the gut. Those body shots, they wear on you. There you go. It's another hook from Torres. But you're right. Those body shots are coming in. Accurate. Ooh, there it is, the big one. I knew he was setting him up. <laughs> Double that jab and scrape that left hand. Oh. He's sending a, a, probably an overhand left or something. Mm. Keeps throwing it to the body. There's no quit in Torres, but I mean, I tell you, like. No, he's, he's a he's gamer. Yeah. He's a gamer. He's, Standing his ground, he's shooting his shots. It's oh, a good hook there, but. Short little hook. Yeah, when he hits him with the hook, he's taking one to the body, so it's kind of. Yeah, it's a give and take thing, yeah. huh? <laughs> okay. Closing out the third round here. A lot more competitive from Torres. More action, yeah. yeah. Let's say, uh, the Hulk took this round again. Yeah. Good job, good job, Logan. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Going into our final round right now. I can imagine, uh, Torres' corner probably telling him, you know, you gotta give it your all, bud. Yep. Yeah. If I was in that corner, I'd tell him he's losing. <laughs> he needs to step it up and knock, get some knockdowns on there. 
or knocked out. Yeah. They both they're both capable. Absolutely. Both heavy guys. Usually uh you get a little too technical at this point in time when it's three minutes left. This is the last round. This is this is when you tell them yeah. basic basic punches is what's gonna win the fight. Let's make some noise for the fourth and final round. center of the ring. Cisneros again trying oh. to force Torres to go to his left. Torres coming out with a little bit of uh, punching right there. He's bowling him, putting him in that corner. Maybe the coaches did light a fire in his butt. <laughs> yeah, he has to, he has no choice. Nope. He has to get a, a, a knockdown and try to go for the finish. But Cisneros is smart. He's boxing and he's throwing to the body. That's a good uppercut right there. That was. That was clean. Throwing to the body. But at this stage, at this weight, anything can happen. Oh, yeah. He's landing some good shots. Oh, that one hurt. Just straight back there. Yeah. The body body shots, shots hurt. hurt too. Yeah. It's a minute and 20 seconds left in round four. Final round. A little bit of faint. I like what Cisneros is doing. He's picking it up. He sees the opportunity for him to be able to finish strong. Okay. Go with a oh. quick double jab straight left. Those guys now are flat footed, so their cardio is kind of gone. Oh, man. They're just like hanging in there for this final round. Yeah. Their mouths are open, both mouths are open. <laughs> You've seen that before plenty of times, huh? Of time. <laughs> so that's when you knew you got your opponent. Yes. <laughs> Keeping uh, Torres at bay with the jabs. It's coming up on 10 seconds. There it is. <sighs> yeah, I got to give it to Cisneros. There it is. There it is. Yep. There Good sportsmanship. Yep. Good job. I think Torres deserves a lot of credit for sticking in there and just. Yeah, not giving up, no quitting him. Backed up a few times, but came right back and fought, fought right back. Yeah, he did. Good job with Coach Ochoa over there in the corner. He's happy, smiling. <laughs> He's out <laughs> boxing in the house. <laughs> well, Cisneros was always in the pocket. Not once was he backed out. <clears throat> so I got to hand it to him. Good coaching. You know, give them the confidence that they need for that. Yeah. We have a unanimous decision. We go to our scorecards. Judges Rudy Barragan, Ani Guillermo, and Carlos Caiz all see this contest at 40 to 36. Your winner, by unanimous decision, El Red winner. That was a good one for him. Good win for him. Yep. Good fight in both Warriors.